Hello and welcome to a new channel, Spare Time Gardening, with me, Simon. In this first episode we'll be taking a tour of my garden, the borders, the allotment, and finally in here, in my greenhouse. So here's the tour of my uh, my garden. So as you'll see, we're looking down now at the border at the side of the garage. In there, we've got a couple of fuchsias. There's uh, African feather grass here against the trellis. We've got a wisteria, and in the terracotta pots, a further two African feather grass. Here in the black pots are six willow tree cuttings uh, taken last year. And what you can see there are some lavender in the black pots. They were taken, grown from seed last year. The corder line there was taken from a cutting. And there you've got a chrysanthemum ball bought last year. Hoping that's going to regrow this year. More, another quarter line there with some bedding plants around that. And there are the trailing carnations grown from seed last year. Done quite well actually, those. Another one of the quarter lines. Both of those were taken from cuttings last year. And here's a planter um, that I built a couple of years ago. We've got strawberries in the bottom there that needs. Uh, dead heading um, but not a bad little project that just built from old pallets in the corner here you've got a, an oak tree grown from an acorn and that's about five five years old um, grew that from an acorn and just shows how mild it's been we've got a uh, I think it's a wallflower uh, there in flower so you're expecting those to grow in spring. So to continue our journey, got a board on the left there uh, with some heathers and ground cover plants down towards the, the greenhouse at the bottom. Here's my uh, my small allotment, six foot by, by 12 foot. Chicken wire around it to keep the cats off because they do tend to use it as a toilet. And the greenery you can see in there is some green manure I'm trying for the first time. Uh, here's some cuttings of some conifers. Um, trim the conifers which you saw on the left earlier. Here's the bottom border. Um, so the lavender there. There's a couple of overwintering geraniums but I'm not sure if they'll, if they'll do much. Uh, we've got some daffodils just coming through. I say it's, it's in January, it's quite early for those. Uh, hedgehog, hedgehog home just in the corner under the, under the uh, bay tree and my, my compost bin which does get regularly filled. And there's a, a Christmas tree which I bought um, about five years ago and, uh, and just planted it in the garden and as you can see it's uh, growing quite well there. Here we're just uh, taking a closer look at uh, a hellebore. Yeah, I'm not sure what which variety it is. Uh, but that's doing particularly well there. And, uh, and a little, little tortoise ornament. Uh, you see a forest flame in the background. Uh, elements there of my, my bird feeder. Try to keep the wildlife uh, fed. So some wild bird seed and fat balls. Uh, my greenhouse, six foot by six foot. Uh, does the job well. Uh, another lavender there just at the side of the greenhouse. And there's some raspberry canes. And what I'm looking at right now, what you can see is, uh, is a grapevine planted last year so we'll see how that how that does and there's a just zoom in on that one that's a, a blueberry bush so again we'll see how that uh, here we are in the in the greenhouse 
So some overwintering geraniums grown from seed last year. Here's some uh, small plug plants that I, I got from Thompson and Morgan. Uh, a couple of wallflowers there. And some other little varieties. I've not quite got round to putting in pots yet. There's a honesty uh, overwintering um, taken from cutting. See how that does this year. Uh, pitcher plant, uh, carnivorous plant there. And here I've got some overwintering fuchsias and um, cuttings taken from last year. So I take a few more, a few more cuttings there. Here we've got some ground cover plants. These are uh, lovely bright red flowers. They're going to go outside of the greenhouse this year. And four silver birch trees uh, grown from seed. Grew them from seed last year. I'm going to grow some more this year. See if we have some success. Quite like the the bark on a on a silver birch. So we're going to see how how they get on. And down at the bottom there, we've got some thyme and rosemary. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And please feel free to leave your comments and feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. So don't be shy. And of course, I'll reply. See you soon.